어, 블레이 Yo, what's up, SMS Army? It's your boy Omar SMS. We're back with another Apex Legends video. Most people don't consider this, by the way. Like, they never actually consider this a lot. The only thing about Dead Zone is that Dead Zone has less recoil if you lower it down, and it has more recoil if you're going, going up. But that's not the case, because if that's the case, then you're gonna have the same thing on the response curve. You're gonna have, like, like Dead Zone is gonna be the same as response curve, and that's not true. Like, you're just comparing what response curve, uh, what uh, response curve could do on a controller, and that's why most people don't get what is the difference in uh, Dead Zone. So in this video, guys, I'm gonna explain to you guys a trick, and not just a trick, a tip that I will explain to you guys about Dead Zone that you probably don't know. So just stay here and let's get straight to the video, guys. All right. So. <clears throat> What I mean by dead zone here is, of course, in the default setting, there's small, large, and none. But let's talk about the advanced tool controls because it's more detailed, alright? So, here, let's have a topic right here about dead zone. So, some people, a lot of people ask me, why do I not use above 4%? I only used 3 or 4 or 2 or 0. I never used above 4. And if I use, like, 5 and above, and this is gonna be a problem for me. And it's de definitely a big problem. And why is that? It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be a recall problem. I'm gonna show you an example right here, guys. All right. And there's a huge difference between four and five. Imagine like this one tick has a huge difference. And I'm gonna show you an example, guys, right here. All right. So let me carry a weapon like an R99 and show you what will happen to the controller or your aim or anything and even the movement. What will happen if you get a five dead zone and above? All right. So let's just go here straight. If you have like three dead zone you can see uh everything here is smooth normal aiming right here like that you can clearly see the aim and everything is just smooth all right so what happens if you put five let me show you you can see the movement right here is gonna be like tick 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 it's ticking when you move it it's not that smooth it's not like like it was before it's gonna be ticking even the camera look at that the camera feels it also. It feels like that. You can try it on the far range and go and figure it out by yourself. And this is a huge difference between 4 and 5. Look at the far, for example. Here, let me show you the 4, what it can do. Look at the 4, how smooth it is. Compared to what I was using. Alright. Alright, let me show you like that. Aiming like that. Very clear. Okay. When we put 5... It's gonna be like that. Look, you can you can clearly see I cannot make a circle also with the controller. I can only make up and down and left and right more. Circle is gonna be like very very hard to do. And the controller here also is gonna be also harder. It's gonna be harder to do circles, right? So 
how you gotta figure this out guys just go to the settings put that on five and then go ahead go back put it on four or three you're gonna notice a huge difference in it and the difference is just aiming like regularly in a circle way it's gonna be really different uh, so wait okay all right so uh will that affect your aim will that affect everything you fire everything yes it does a anytime you have a five percent death zone and above everything is gonna be affected even the hip fire and everything because you cannot move the circle rotation like before you can see my aim is good with hip fire but what is happening is i basically just going left and right look at that you see you see how my aim went to the down and i could not get it up it's because it's not that smooth like when you put it on four percent for example you can see that aiming right here can go up and down easier you can see I can control the hip fire in, in that way more than up and downs it can be controlled like in a circle way so yeah this is why I recommend every time to put a dead zone anything above and uh, under five anything from five and above I think is a disadvantage even if you have zero uh, zero response curve it's gonna be affected like that so if you have five death zone and zero response curve it's still gonna feel that you have uh, really hard to make circles like I wanted all right it's gonna be a little bit hard also but uh, yeah it's, of course it's better than having it's better than having higher response curve but I'm just saying 5% and above is gonna be harder for you to control the hip fire, to control the aim more, uh, basically everything. So why, what is the difference between that zone and response curve and why why response curve feels the same? It's not the same exactly guys, it does feel the same but it's not the same. Let's say an example, if you have zero death zone and you have 10% or let's say 9%, 8% uh, response curve you can still have that circle by the way you can still have that smooth feeling but the only difference is that that your aim is more less responsive le less responsive which will make your aim assist is higher and also the aiming and everything is easier but the recoil is gonna be a little bit harder that's only the difference but the death zone affects something that is not usual it does affect it in a way that it's not about death zone. Uh, it's not about uh, it's not about recall only and less responsive. It's not about less responsive in the death zone. It's gonna be really bad compared to what you can move the analog. How you can move the analog. How freely you can move it. So let's go back and go back to the topic and explain to you guys. So response curve, you can still have free aiming. You can still have you can still feel free aiming whatever you want, whatever you way. You can get used to it. Basically, response curve is more used for uh, muscle memory. So after you understand the nine, for example, response curve or eight, you're gonna still have that muscle memory and you're gonna have uh, a good control aim and everything you want. But if you have five percent that's on and above, then this is not about your muscle memory. It's, you're still gonna have an itchy aim. All right, this is basically everything i want to explain and i i tried it a lot guys i know most people play 8 and 10 or even 6 and they play good i know that but trust me guys I have this advantage i've even watched a video guys of someone playing he's a really good player um he, he was really good player guys and he's a famous player i forgot his name he, he was using eight percent death zone and zero response curve i guess or one one response curve and i see his gameplay is really good but i noticed that itchy movement when he was doing hip fire and when he was just aiming i noticed this slightly but he's used to it and then after like three months i saw him playing on four percent three percent death zone and i know that all right he noticed that difference he noted that lower death zone is gonna make him make his aim 10 times better than what he was using before so basically from this guys from this video i'm just explaining to you guys that the death zone from four percent five percent one tick is gonna be a huge difference anything above five and like five and above is gonna be a problem for your analog trust me guys even if you have stick drift just change the controller and don't play on five because i really recommend you guys to never play on five and above because it's a big problem for you guys all right so that was it for the video today guys i hope you guys enjoyed it that's the difference between dead zone and response curve i hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next one peace out